55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all. Now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Here it is then, the first page of the first chapter of this. Off we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Well, I'm going to go for the little wriggler, that is Raheem Sterling. Uh, his small frame and, and pace gives him a real advantage over bigger. It's Rashford! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Croatia didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Rashford, Trippier, Sterling, and here's Kane, and the defence can get it clear, Jordan Henderson, Trippier, Madison. Sterling goes through the middle. Michelko. Chaletta Shah tries to get it forward quickly. England are already ahead. The perfect start. Always when you score early, it gives you such a lift and it, it casts doubt in the minds of your. Perisic! Oh, that was no routine save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Kovacic. Vlasic. England scored early, of course. And it's 1-0. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Vlasic has got himself a free kick. Rebic has a hit! Great reaction!
Madison set up one goal so far. And it's Rashford. Rashford takes control of enemy. It's Rashford! It's in! Two up and threatening to pull clear. That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. Kovacic. Michelko, Vlasic, that's surely a foul, free kick. Kane. Gets the better of his man, Sterling. Vida goes looking. Brozovic. Rebic. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. It's a loose ball. Battles to win it back. Kane. Let down by a lack of accuracy. Vlasic. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Good challenge. He just stood firm. Jordan Henderson. Trippier. Too much on it and out of play. Kovacic. Michelko. Vlasic. Brozovic. Well played, he saw that coming. Vlasic. Driving on now, what can they... Has a hit! <laughs> Rashford. A scything tackle. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. And we've reached half-time. Look back on the first 45 minutes. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why did it from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? England go in at half time on a comfortable two goal cushion. So we're already into the second period. Madison. Sterling. Trippier. Rashford. Nicely controlled. He's gone for it! It's off target and by quite a way. England really have been deserted by their composure and allowed frustration to take over, and it's not a good sign. Brozovic. Vlasic. Brozovic hoists it forward and that's the end of that it all started well enough
Modric. Vlasic. Rebic. Rebic! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Croatia are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Ball's gone out of play. Now it's Sterling. Sterling turns and goes back. And it's Mings. Madison, it has gone through to him. Real chance! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Madison simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Taleta Shah gets it away. Michelko. Perisic. Maguire. Sterling. Vlasic. Vida. Brozovic. Modric. And it's played forward. Rashford ready with two goals under his belt. Sterling goes steaming forward. Sterling. He's still got it, needs help. Vlasic. Kane. Vlasic gets his foot in there. Rebic. Rebic. Good ball. Got a sight of goal here. It's a good-looking cross. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Croatia have a free kick. So here comes the substitution. And it's Modric. He's got through. Kane. Kane just doesn't give up. You just know he'll be in there again before long. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Rashford. Brings it forward. It's Rashford! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Pasalic. Maguire sticks in a foot to win it back. 
And here's Kane. Rashford. That intervention was very... And the shot! And more, and more, and more. And they are cruising away. It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a needle the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, no, you've got him, no, you don't. Brilliant. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly, and they don't know how to stop him. England take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Pasanic. Brozovic. And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. Well, that's the way to launch the campaign. Now they can look ahead with confidence and comfort. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group match. Instead, they can take great confidence now from a very good victory and look ahead with real belief. Well, hello everybody and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all. Now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. No question that this is one of the great capital venues of the Netherlands, the Johan Cruyff Arena, Amsterdam. So it is upon us, their opening game, and what they hope will be the first of many fine games in this championship. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. That had to be more accurate. Berida. He's played him through. Schick. Tries to locate someone up front. Hoist it for massive lead. He has done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Towering header! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Gets it back. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Schick. Scotland have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Right towards the front men. Out to the left it goes. It's a loose ball. Battles to win it back. Tierney. Tierney 
Switches it towards the other side. Oh, shooting chance! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. He's made sure that that won't get through. Could move up a gear here. Across the field it goes. The Czech Republic still without an... Oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. And no surprise, that's a booking. Schick. And the counter is on. McTominay tries to get it forward quickly. Schick just brushed off the ball there. McTominay, Robertson, Tierney. Robertson tries to get some whip on it. It's being played forward. Chance to break. Looks to bypass the midfield. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And now the breakaway. He's got options out wide, and the flag has stayed down. Great leap! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Gets it back. And now they can launch a counter. And helps available out wide. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Chance to shoot! Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And there's the end of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So we reach the halfway point. The Czech Republic ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. Gets up to hit it! Oh, just needed a better contact. The Czech Republic can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Played in with accuracy. A real chance to break. Tomine. Barida. It's a throw in.
Defence has got rid of that. Chance to shoot. And he's cut it out. Robertson. Well, into the second half, and it's still goalless. He's come loose. Looks to clip it forward. Timely intervention. <laughs> Done very well to intervene. McTominay. McTominay plays it forward. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Forward it goes. Oh, some tackle that. Quick pull forward. And it's played forward. Now a chance to break. It's gone for a throw in. Scotland have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Two changes being made right now. Just brushed off the ball there. Schick. Schick. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Played into the middle, cut out in the nick of time. Tierney. Tries to locate someone up front, cuts it out. I think that's offside, yes it is. The Czech Republic showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. The Czech Republic can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, with the introduction of such a tall lad now, we may well see uh, a more predictable lofty route forward, but it's still very hard to deal with that, you know, if they, if they can affect it right. Naismith battles to win it back. McTominay drives it forward. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. He's got away. Scotland merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Goalkeeper's ball. And it's Naismith. And he's on his way! He's gone for it! Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. He's gone for it. Oh, crossbar! It is now or never, time is against them. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. And that's clear-cut, it's a free kick. Dinks one in. 
you wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Keeps everyone guessing. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And the referee brings it to a close. The Czech Republic claim one point on day one. It's a fair start. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? I don't think they'll be too upset about that. One point is OK. And steering clear of an opening loss keeps the mood in the dressing room upbeat.